Yo, what is going on gamers? Today we're trying out Isaac, a character that takes advantage of nothing but slipperiness. This is going to be very challenging. First treasure room, wow, they are fast if you're able to keep moving in a, a straight direction. Uh, it's gonna be the scooper. We don't need it. I uh, don't have a D6. Isaac does not have a D6, so I guess we'll just leave and come back. This character apparently is unused from the Revelations mod, which is a mod that I actually have not even tried yet. It's been on my notepad of things I've been trying to do for a very hot minute but I saw this it came out apparently this character's unused I was like yeah you know what I like the uh the, the, uh, the uh, photo they put on the thumbnail so I'll, I'll do it <laughs> so I imagine this takes exactly from uh you know when like you're on dross and you got that weird poop below you and you're slipping around or you're like fighting dangle or something like that this seems to be the exact same mechanic except just permanently we also seem to be starting with an item I don't know if, if that item actually does anything that item might literally just be what causes Isaac to exist. Let's open these two chests, maybe we can get some more money and we can hit that reroll. Or, or I could hit that per throw, but a per throw is uh, kind of mega value. I'm gonna save it for a secret room. Eh, it could be more fun to just hit the reroll and get like something better than the scooper. Actually, what am I even saying? This character does not have an active item. I should just probably take the scooper. It just feels wrong to take, let's be real here. Like of all the items you can find in the treasure room as your first starting item on basement one, it's the scooper. I don't know. It's like whatever. Wait, hold on. Check this out though. I'm gonna I'm gonna be sick as hell. Check out my drive-by. Yeah, I miss. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm already starting to take damage. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit hard to control, but I don't think it's gonna be impossible. I just need to get used to it very quickly and adapt as fast as I can. And if we can do that, yeah, I know, I'm sure I can just handle the rest of it. But so far, I'm doing a not-so-good job. And I'm not getting a lot of pickups or sucks, because I am seeing... Well, I didn't mean to go in here. <laughs> I am seeing a significant amount of tinted rocks that I cannot blow up. It's gonna happen, whatever. Maybe we'll get a matchbook or something crazy. I find it hilarious that I did not want to fight the boss, but the, the ice mechanics actually made it happen. If this were like Basement 2 and a Devil Room was on the line with no soul hearts and I ended up fighting Gurglings, this could have been devastating. There we go. Duke of Flies is done. Seeming to be a little bit of a challenging day, I am down for the challenge. What is our first reward? Super bandage. Man, the last thing I need is HP right now. Please! Okay, sorry. I, I mean, the ice mechanic is scary as hell. Can you blame me for getting a bit nervous there? Let's say you guys. Do I hit the per throw? Uh, oh! It was so worth it. Also, this is weirdly ironic because how am I going to be shooting fire as the ice guy? I'm down. Let's do it. Well, no keys today, so no downpour. Uh, I guess we'll miss out on blue universe, and please don't be burning basement, because I'm gonna burn alive. I do not want to melt. I don't know if there's actually, like, a melting mechanic. I, I doubt there is, but that'd be really funny. <laughs> like, if you get too close to a fire, you end up taking damage. That'd be actually kind of sick. This isn't actually as frustrating as I thought it would be to play. I mean, don't get me wrong, it feels really weird. One of the greatest things about Isaac is how solid the controls are. You press left, you go left. You press right, you go right that thing is responsive so when you uh, introduce this it gets a little funky but definitely not to the point where i'm like man this is going to be impossible i simply just need to adapt i love the fact that when you turn and isaac is sliding you can see his little legs like <laughs> see what i'm talking about like he goes in one direction and you switch and he's like trying to like readjust so he, he like steps very fast that is actually adorable Wow, petrified poop moment for real. I suppose we'll be hitting up the shop. I have adoption papers sitting on the ground. And wow, that's a ton of cash. I definitely want to maybe do that. Adoption's so weird though. It's like, yeah, you, you know, you get a bunch of babies from now on. But the actual shop items themselves are so good that that I just, I don't want to do it. Dude, can I please get a bomb? <laughs> the amount of value I've missed out on by not having bombs so far is actually like astronomical. I've never seen so many tinted rocks and amount of monies and chests just laying around because I cannot blow this place up. Please? That, that works. Hold on, this, this really works. Broken Magnet only works on coins, but coins are the major thing I wanted at least here. We're not gonna get the Tinted Rock, but at least that's a ton of money. I'll be keeping the Petrified though, this is way better. Should we go Devil Rooms? Well, I think a better question is should we go Shop? I think I will. Hopefully there's a key or a bomb in here. There's a bomb. I'll take that trade. I feel like whenever you go in the shop, it's either going to be a bomb or a key, and I wanted both of them. So at least I get value out of this. And then I guess I'll buy this treasure map. And then I'll go with the Cursor Room, and hopefully this out with something i'm gonna need it to happen wooden cross Ooh. 
Wait, 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 wait. I could be the smartest gamer alive. Check this out. What if we do something like this? Drop this here. Right, right? This is gonna be especially hard because I'm, you know, in ice mode. But if I do something like this... Oh my goodness, I might just be the smartest gamer. Saving that half a heart for the future. Let's go, dude. Hey, what about this pin fight, though? I think pin stands absolutely no chance. Especially if I can get a lucky bird's eye proc the moment they show up. There you are. Wonderful stuff. I have a feeling we're gonna get a second good one right now. My brain is telling me the next time I shoot, I'm gonna get bird's eye, so I wanna save it. Boom. Okay, I was incorrect completely. Uh, I- never mind. I don't- I don't remember the last time I did shoot a bird's eye. Hello? Or is this the item removed from my inventory? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll take the blind. Uh, and in terms of devil rooms, I'm blind, but I have a lot of you know, I have a lot of HP. Nah, blind devils are stupid. Let's be real here. Let's just go down. Caves of Darkness. We got the treasure map working for us, so let's head down first. Throw out whatever's in here. Definitely getting hit way more often than I usually would because of the slide mechanic, but it is making things a, a lot more interesting for me. So I'm glad we're playing it. We got 15 cents now. All we need is a key, and we can make the next shop work for us. First shop already worked for us, giving us the treasure map, which is really good. Hopefully, as we move along, we can get something even better. Maybe some damage, because the only damage we're really working with right now is completely luck-based. This guy is so fast. And luck-based damage, you know, it's good, but it's inconsistent. Something to not bank on. That's the same thing you saw with that pin, you know? Every single time I thought I was about to shoot a bird's eye, it did not happen. There goes my deal chance. Isaac moment for real. What's in here? Oh my god. It's looking like luck is the name of the game today. I know I was just saying inconsistent damage kind of sucks, but when you have two different ways to get inconsistent, consistent damage that damage does become you know a little bit more consistent we got two different procs to hope for now not just one Oh my goodness, wait, this is actually like a hard character. <laughs> it's like I just think to myself, oh man, I've done this room so many times. Easy peasy. Look away for one second, I'm down to two red hearts. It's not looking good. Here's the keys that I need. This is nice. You can only get one of them, but you know, one is better than none. And I have a feeling my special rooms might be up here. Here's at least the shop. I mean the treasure room. I think I'm just gonna open the treasure room right away. I think the shop would be better, but it's here and I need something to help me. So please be good. Yeah, it's a tears up. It's a tears up. I'll take it. That's beautiful. More tears, more chance to shoot my mega damage. My inconsistent damage has become more consistent, and I can't believe the boss was right here. I actually thought it would be somewhere else. Do I want to uh, maybe mega min-max and get this chest for free by blowing up the bomb fly strategically? I think I will. I just need to get rid of all of these dudes, and then uh, hopefully uh, there you go. A perfectly timed bomb fly shows his head. We're gonna have to play a little bit more methodical with this character and do plays like that, but that's where things get really fun. So give me that key, give me that heart after I uh, open this because I'm sliding all around, it was hard to pick up. And some pickups are really good. We can find uh, probably the secret room on this floor. Very good. Starting to heal back up now. Things are slowing down but also speeding up except for that shop. Wait, hold on. I mean, deck of cards is good. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't have an active item. Deck of cards is honestly like solid. Like a magician card, it's not gonna break my game, obviously, but it'll definitely help for this uh, future boss fight. And that's what really matters, I think. Secret room is here. And I am gonna do this. <laughs> this is probably the best animation in Isaac. I guess when you're this character and you walk into an obstacle, you just do the fast walk cycle no matter what. This is incredible. I never want to stop. It's like really satisfying to my eyes for some reason. But nothing good can last forever. Goodbye. Nothing there. Another one. The worst thing that could happen is if I like do this incorrectly and I miss one of the mushrooms, which honestly could happen with, you know, how much I'm sliding around. So I gotta be careful. Uh, do oh! Hey, listen, that's still good. Mini mushroom, not the magic, still solid. That's really sick. More pills here. Telepills don't error root me, brother. I do not need that in my life right now. It would probably be so hard to get boss rush with this character. Slip sliding away, constantly readjusting yourself and wasting time. What was this other pill? Range up. Nice. Hey, things are ramping up. Good stuff. Let's not lose hope just yet. Let's just keep it cool and keep it locked in. Hope for as many bird eye procs as possible. Maybe if Mega Moss spawns some hoppers, Athame will proc. Wow, bird's eye is broken. And we should be in the clear. Noise. Oh! Oh my god, 9% angel chance? I'm him, actually. We don't get a lot from him. <laughs>
but I would say two HP ups and a soul heart is it's honestly it is a lot. It's good. You saw that slick slide into the next floor. Yeah, I felt sick as hell. You know what? That that nine percent angel actually made me feel like God incarnate. What an incredible proc. That has not happened to me in a while. A rare deal chance whenever you skill issued and got hit with red heart damage. I think that's honestly like one of the purest forms of like satisfying dopamine for me and Isaac because it's like wow that is actually just luck. And you can see how lucky you got, you know? Like, it's not just like, wow, I found Polyphemus. It's like, wow, I saw how low of a chance I could have had for Polyphemus and I got it. That's like the difference maker to me. We do have a curse room over there, but I'm gonna wait to like clear out the boss. At this point, you know, who knows? I really could get another deal. I don't wanna waste my soul hearts just yet. Temperance from the starter deck? Uh, I don't have bombs, but if I do, I'd blow it up. Saw the kind of pickle they put me in with Ice Zack. It's so hard to maneuver when you're playing this character. It's actually really fun. I've always wanted a character that had like slip sliding mechanics. I can't believe that I haven't been able to find one until now. I'm really happy this exists. Treasure room. Oh, it's it's so over, guys. I'm getting every single god tier effect known to man. Athame, backstabber, bird's eye. Next thing you know, I'm gonna land mucormycosis. Hello? These are some absurd O tier effects currently. They're not even proccing that much because of my low luck but they're happening just enough that it feels really effective obviously backstab is more like a like a thing that you can do on purpose but you know what i'm trying to say here okay this shop has turret desinator i i think this is fine but i don't think it's like too essential we'll just take the soul heart and leave i genuinely think starter deck could be better for us overall i have not used the magician card that we got the first time over so far to be fair but I, I, it's still gonna be really good we can maybe get reverse cards and rig the game obviously starter deck is the goat in that way High Priestess. Okay, so with that in mind, how about we just use Magician, uh, not on this room because it's a skinny room. There's no way I'm missing any shots here. Uh, the next room over, and we'll High Priestess the boss for a one-shot. I'm gonna head back now because I got a significant amount of hearts and I feel far more confident. I wanted to do this earlier. Hopefully there's a secret room. There is. We blow up the Temperance. Get this for free. Maximize our bombs. And then we can also just go ahead and go in the boss challenge room. I'm sorry. This is... This is something I didn't expect. Look at this. It feels so weird to me. I got natural normal Isaac controls when we're on uh, the spider webs. I kind of just want to stay on them so I, I feel normal. It feels very weird like sliding around and then and then I'm normal. <laughs> what was in here? Latch key. Is it even worth it? Yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, it is to be fair. I got a one shot anyway, so it, let's just pop it off. There you go. Super worth it. We gained some hearts and we got some luck for our tier effects. And the curse room has more items. Not like the most insane ever, but more items are more items. And there you have it. Reverse moon into brimstone. Almost the case. Uh, no cigar though. Oh well, I'll still take it. Very hype. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's begun. Look at that one luck up already doing major work for us. I have a feeling this run is going to pop off very, very soon. It already is starting to begin to do that. Oakley Dokley. Hey, Rag Mega. You know, to be fair, I didn't fight you earlier. I kind of just stomped you with my mother's foot. But even now, I'm not really fighting you. You're just kind of dying. Just kidding. This boss is baloney. <laughs> the fact that he can stay that invulnerable for that long. How dare you, sir? Matchbook gives us matchstick. You know, I actually care about it more. Yeah, we got so much cash and I need bombs. I really do. Let's go down next floor. Feeling solid. We've gotten so many good items carrying our ass through the ice sack run. As long as we keep playing relatively solid, I, I think we can make it to the end here. Whatever the end may be, whether it be dark room or chest, sometimes people ask, me hey matt how do you decide where you're gonna go for the run and i promise you i literally don't decide until i have the two items the polaroid and the negative right in front of my face and at that point i make some random split second decision based on what my brain tells me to do <laughs> oh this is always a wondrous skull to find you love to see it all of those gone i get a black heart and a card strength is cool i know these sacks are probably worth it but i, I just want to find uh, my special rooms first i might come back uh, I probably won't. <laughs> and here is one of those special rooms giving us greed. Hello. Kind of stink. How dare you, sir? I was looking to buy something. Shops have been an L today. If we're being real, like they have not been paying off. And it happens, you know. Not every day is going to be a banger for the, the store. Sometimes they have a wonderful deal. And uh, sometimes the clearance aisle is really bad. Guys, 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 I'm soft locked. 
Guys, that was crazy. What? I can't tell you how soft locked I was. I'm never going in that room ever again. I was about to exit out and quit out and then continue the run so I could respawn at the front door. I don't know what happened. It's like all my speed disappeared or something. Something to do with those graviton grimaces combined with Isaac's slippery physics made it so I just had no ability to escape. I promise you, all I was doing is holding W and alternating A and S. And it just felt like there was no counterplay at all. I am a... I'm scared. The more we go along here, the more those types of enemies will show up. I'm telling you, no matter what character we play, grimaces stay the most annoying. Hey, there's our treasure room though. We also got a curse room. How about we go treasure room, curse room, and then we'll pop the moon card to get out for half price. What's in here? Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't even want to look at you. Get out of my face. How dare you, sir? But in here, oh my god. You guys think I can diagonal with this character without stopping? You know, we're never gonna find out because I accidentally walked outside. <laughs> Boom. I kind of stopped, let's be real. But it was still kind of slick. TPS to the secret room. Blow these guys up. We got range. We got tears up. Nice. And we got shot speed down. Not even a big deal. Maybe like the worst display of Isaac Hill I might have ever done in my life. I'm actually highly embarrassed. Part of me wants to restart the entire run. <laughs> we're fighting war, so that means we're gonna get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. It's a cube, and we got the angel into holy water. That's always incredible to find. I love this for sure. We're gonna pop the magician here. It's a bit of a hard fight. Not too terrible, but we will need the extra help just to make sure I don't take any more damage. I could absolutely see a scenario where this guy does angel lasers revelation style, and I accidentally slip and fall into it. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up style. So let's avoid that, get key piece two, and go to the next floor. What a chunky looking map. Everything's so close together with so many bigger rooms. Look at the tier effects going to work on my run right now. So appreciated. You can't forget, I'm doing all of this with base damage so far. It's not too good. If I didn't have all of this good stuff with me, this run honestly might have been over <laughs> long ago. But I'm just getting very good. But I am getting very lucky with my items, except for damage stat. So let's just keep up the good fight and try not to die. Keep our eye out for tinted rocks if we need be. I accidentally walked into that because I thought that was my own backstabber blood mum bad. Yeah, man. I mean, I have barely gotten to mom. It's depths too, and we're at 27 minutes. Getting a boss rush mark with this character would probably be so hard. I imagine it would be easier if I had better items, better stats, but I this is genuinely like a really strong run, and I already found it eight minutes late on this run to, to make it to there, so it would have to be something really broken. This is incredibly good. There's options will only pay out probably once for the entire run, but Champion's Belt's nice. And I got so much money that I might as well donate. Very epic dono moment. That gave me plus three luck. That was actually insane of a play. That alone has given me so much extra damage. Look how much more Athame is proccing on those enemies. Bird's eye as well. Okay. That was the shop we were waiting for. It only took the entire game, but the entire game was worth it for that. Do I want the callus now? I, you, this actually seems like broken on this character. Callus as a trinket by itself, I give it like a B tier, an A tier. It really only matters if you think about it, if you skill issue. But with this character, I sack, I'd give it an S. I mean, the one way you're gonna get hit all the time is because you're sliding around, slip sliding away. This removes at least a bit of the ground factor. Golden key, treasure room, eyesore. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. I guess that donation machine did stay open. Not like I'm trying to rush to boss rush or anything. Uh, let's just donate the rest of it. Maybe we get another luck up. That's another effective DPS up in my eyes. Okay, no, but at least I feel good as a person. <laughs> Uh, you actually pronounced it wrong. It's Isaac. You're incorrect. Sorry. Skill issue. I'm gonna pop reverse strength here. Make it so we can blast through mom even easier. And, uh, I think I've decided we're gonna go up today. We've been handling a lot of angel rooms. They've been working out for me, so I'm feeling good about them. Let's go. Alright, you load into Utero 1. You have treasure map. You look at the map, and you see this. What say you? Where is the boss? I think there's only one logical solution, and it is up. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be absolutely devastating because there's no other way to turn it would literally just be a 180 in the other direction but at that point i'd just be like you know what game you tricked me really well i can't even be mad oh 
beggar with my high deal chance already? Yeah, give me that 80%. And that, that is broken. That, that is actually like an S tier trinket no matter what character you're playing. In fact, it becomes S tier, S, S, S tier when you're playing the lost characters. But I would say it's already S tier with any other character. Like, you just always take this trinket. This kind of covers the same basis as Kallus. It just requires enemies to be in the room. But it does the same thing anyway, you know? What are we fighting? Conquest? That means white pony. Do I run white pony, dude? Does Isaac still, like, be slidey if you're flying? I mean, I don't see, like, why you wouldn't. It might just be better for me to take that. Yeah, it's probably just better. I I'll test it out, but I'm sure you still slip slidey away. Flight would have also been good, but whatever. Gimpy for one heart, sure. Uh, but the black powder is just like never worth it. What a bozo item. Let's be real here Finally feeling like my tier rate is very solid my damage as eh, it's all right. It's not too good It's commendable. That's for sure at least in terms of base damage in terms of like backstabber proccing constantly Like that's the reason this run feels so strong We really do only have one damage up and that was from the champion's belt from the shop But that should be more than enough to suffice for an entire win here. I think reverse temperance I think we send it. Speed up, HP down, range down. Kind of sucks, something's wrong. I can see and addicted. Ooh, maybe not so good. <laughs> now I'm looking at my HP and I'm thinking, wait, uh, wait a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting nervous here. I would truly say that this character is actually challenging. There's a very real possibility we do not defeat this run. I will lock in though, guys. I, I promise, I'm gonna really try. I think at this point we're in speed run mode. The longer I stay on a room and a floor in general, the better chance that I'm just gonna lose. I feel like this character like self implodes just by existing. So we need to beat the run as fast as possible and take advantage of anything we can find while we're speed running. Like if we see a tinted rock on the way, of course I'll, you know, I'll blow it up, but I'm not gonna clear out the floor hoping for a tinted rock. I just don't see us being as powerful enough to really like do that comfortably. Oh my god, you saw the sigil play? I cannot believe how clutch that was. Sigil has maybe like saved me already like 10 hits this entire time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'd love to get Brimstone, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I saw on the like workshop page that there was a like specific Brimstone cosmetic with this character, which seems so cool. I'm wondering if there's other ones. Maybe I'll experiment and see if like there's other sprites for specifically this character. I'll, I'll try and figure it out, but I'm not too sure. Hey, so I looked up and I did find some new costumes. So this was the Brimstone one, Icicle Horn look super duper dope. You can also see I turn pink uh, entirely when I'm about to be able to shoot. Bla blam. I think Nod Leaf does something or maybe I'm, I'm nuts. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> I really would not have expected it to be a, a unique sprite like that. That's actually really cool. Maw of the Void makes you look super demonic and your uh, icicle head does get little bits of horns as well. And I'm sure when he yells, he's gonna do something really cool. Yeah, there you go, dude. I guess there's actually way more than I was expecting. There's also technology. Yeah, there's hella unique sprites for this character. This is really sick, actually. I like the technology one. There's also one that I can't really recognize. I, I don't know what item they got or transformation to give them that. Maybe it's something like Eye of the Occult or something. But I'll put it up on screen because I can't seem to figure it out. But it, it's there and there's really cool unique sprites for this character, actually. Okay, let's look around for tinted rocks. Maybe even start blowing up random rocks for like a crawl space. Uh, hoping on God something happens. I see some red hearts in the room from the map. We can maybe heal up here. I, I don't know. I'm getting nervous, to be honest. We've gotten really far with this semi-solid run. It'd be kind of devastating to me if we lost it. I'd be very proud if we were able to clutch it out. Just kidding. Every red heart known to man was in this room, so we're fine. Boss? Oh, man. I picked correctly. Thank you. That was a very solid pick from us. Treasure map proving out to be one of the MVPs of the run today. Very happy this guy exists. I'm also very mad that a champion green splits into two Two other holy bonies, holy bony exists. That was devious. Whatever, we can do it. Let's go. Hang on the left side. Hope my bird's eye blocks a lot of shots. Anytime I need to move, it's gonna be really bad for us. Cause not only are we losing DPS, I'm also losing extra DPS and extra maneuverability just because of the way the character works. Not to mention, it's actually just hard to dodge holy beams on reaction. Cause there's like this like buildup that Isaac needs to go through. He doesn't just move like the other characters, you know. He's gotta rev up a little bit. Like a car. I would have to react to the holy beams even faster than I usually would. We're good. Phew, we're good. Let's be safe about this. Let's not be stupid. I know there's a red heart in here. It only costs a bomb. Let's not be lazy. Despite my name, I do want to win. So uh, all we gotta do is hope this chest pays out like crazy for us. Oh my god, voice crack. End the video. We can just cut it. Never mind. Please be good. 
Oh no. Please be good. Oh. Alright, we're fine. Never mind. We're good. Pretty plum. Cupid. All I gotta do is guess where the boss is and it's looking like it's down. Mom's knife is like a win con. No matter what run you're doing. Never mind. We win the game. Lamal, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Okay. Way to really build up suspense for no reason. Are you joking? I get mom's knife. Use starter deck. I get the emperor card. I win the game. I cannot believe how lucky I am. <laughs> what the hell? Are you kidding me? In fact, I guessed incorrectly. The boss was actually top right. Yeah, well, you know what? Whatever. I, I What a way to go. I'm absurdly lucky on that one. Isaac was really fun to play. Genuinely challenging. That was awesome. And shout out to Revelations. I do want to check it out eventually, guys. A GG.